How good does that look, guys? Good morning, once again. Apologies for uh, no episode yesterday. I uh, tried loading on the computer, but my computer's about five years old, and it's um, struggling with the uh, graphics card. So <laughs> I'll be getting that in the shop, and uh, might even just look at upgrading completely. It's uh, outdated uh, in comparison to even my wife's laptop, so it's uh, needed when I'm pumping these videos out. It's obviously uh, a bit too much with this 4K quality, so there's not much I can do about that. Uh, unfortunately, it just didn't get tried three, four times yesterday, so it didn't get uploaded. And uh, yeah, so big, big episode. So I'm looking to get that rolled over, hopefully, to the laptop today. Along with this video, uh, there'll just be a double whammy. Two for your Friday night, hopefully, if it all goes to plan. Uh, big uh, afternoon, big day all around. This is the last day before I go on holiday. So yesterday I finished and the skag, I went to go to the Husky dealer to pick up the stander, because that's all fixed up. And wouldn't you know it, the bloody skag battery um, had died for whatever reason. So we'll take that in the shop and find out why, what's sucking the power on that. Because I used it all day long yesterday without an issue. Uh, so I'll, I'll let you know with that. <laughs> one goes down and the other one's fixed and uh, that's how it works. Anyway, um, what else? I've got to obviously swap them around this afternoon after my work today. So I've got as much as I can get done here, uh, which is slashing all this hillside. I'll take you for a walk in a second up the hill. This bottom edge, um, gonna have to spray it first. It's take too long to um, you're just wasting clients time and money if you're going to be slashing something like this uh, you're better off spraying it getting onto other stuff especially when we've got the whole entire property to do edging and mowing do what I can here because this is pretty um, light duty stuff but once you start getting into this heavy thick this is what really slows the time down I've got the big uh, 35 cc husky up there waiting ready to go warming up and yeah so once I'm done this job I've got another one this afternoon and be a few hours there as well so I'll do what I can record what I can and then this, af this afternoon after all that's done I'll swap these moles around again and um, start coming up here with a GoPro <laughs> and yeah I just got to swap the take that skag in pick up the husky so I've got that at least for the property at home because I've got plenty of mowing to do there over the break um, got seat covers to put on the ute got heaps to do so I'll get this video out, um, get it before and after of this little area, and I'll just uh, record what I can today. Just a bit of a pizza type of a day for you. <laughs> Thanks for coming for the ride. Cheers. Bye. All right, all right. Hopefully you got the picture there. So about an hour and a half for this, guys. It's um, a bit of a mission in amongst all these rocks. You've got to watch your footing. That's about the most um, annoying part is these rocks getting them flicked up at, back up at you. Uh, guard or not, it's going to happen. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so right down the bottom here, try not to trip over. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, this side here, we had a rain shower too. Just really fast moving clouds and uh, it's cleared up, it's going all out to sea now. Just a uh, top view here. But anyway, all this, like I said, will get sprayed. And a couple of little uh, pro tips for you with uh, the fuel bring your fuel container down with you and you're away from your ute it's sort of back 100 meters that way uh, bring a tool such as this just in case you need to um, take your speed feed head off which I had to um, I hit a rock split the uh, cord so I was down to sort of just one half on the actual head there happens pretty regularly when you're in like thick stuff like this you're hitting sticks and the cord will just snap right off on the uh, eyelet there so that's a little tip and what else <laughs> bring a bigger machine because <laughs> um, I got the 35cc husky there and honestly I'd still be going if I had the little shindy down in this stuff especially down this end it got real thick um, it would have taken double as long just for this section alone with that uh, weaker snipper. So bring the right equipment for the job uh, when you're doing it. And I think that's about all the pro tips I've got for you. But uh, get onto the mowing now and see what time we're looking at. 
I don't know if I'll get any footage at all of the mowing. I'll just I'll carry this with me and see what I can do for you. But it's um, going to be a busy, busy afternoon. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, guys, how we going? Day's done, I'm on holidays. You! <laughs> ah, long time coming. It's been a long nine months, longer. Just straight work, um, building, a lot of effort, a lot of lessons learned once again, and um, looking forward to this next season of uh, my business anyway. It's just down there. Uh, back of a dam you would have seen some footage of the uh, mulching there's five cubic meters of mulch t tree mulch to install and then um, down the back just to fill in the last half an hour I've just done around the dam a bit of brush cutting um, heavy duty brush cutting works and I'll be bringing the blades um, or hooking them up they're in the side of the trailer but bringing them and some other gear to really knock that down in there because it's gonna take more than just a couple of hours it's a fairly large job in there so I hope when I do it, I'll get some footage. Just one of those things, you never like just destroying plants because there are some trees and stuff growing in there, but you do what the owner wants and obviously, like, there's no shortage of trees around here, so you try and um, be sustainable and take good practices and uh, just do your best and all you can do is what the client wants and wishes and if it's something that goes against what you believe, then obviously you got to speak your mind a little bit, but you got to do your job too, so you're... Um, walk that tightrope <laughs> always but anyway I uh, will try and get some footage over the break for you all thanks for sticking with us after yesterday's video it didn't upload but once you see that if you haven't seen it go back and watch it um, in regards to COVID and it's only my beliefs it's nothing um, nothing untoward about it as far as humanity as a whole I, I really try and err on the side of positivity but um, when things like this happen you you can't help but be a bit disappointed um, again not surprised but it is what it is and everyone's got to take it upon their, themselves and make their own decision um, there's right and wrong and it's not just black and white in this regard it's uh, there's freedoms and liberties being taken away from people and even as far as jobs forcing vaccinations how, like, how wrong is that and the in inquests and the investigations that will be taking place about all of that in the future and it'll depend how we look back upon this uh, little period of time that we're all going through so again I don't wish any ill upon anyone it's uh, it's unfortunate everything that's happening and it's just something that I purely don't agree with and again I don't be irresponsible um, I'm willing to suffer any consequence that comes my way by not wearing a mask or by not getting a vaccine like I haven't had a vaccine since I was just into high school I think they were mandatory for like um, your tetanus shot or something like that and again I'm probably due for that but it's um, it, like I don't know for me uh, I'm a definitely more natural uh, approach to things and that's just my belief and my views it's just simple as that it's um, if you're strong enough fit enough to survive that's that's my opinion so I've uh, battled my whole life to try and put on weight. If I had lived like 10,000 years ago, I still wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't have the availability to food, you know what I mean? I wouldn't have survived the winters. So 
that's what I mean. They're different eras, different times, and uh, we're growing up in a pretty prosperous time as it is. If this little virus is going to knock us out, then we've got something uh, definitely wrong with us anyway to begin with. So leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll definitely get some more fun footage coming your way. I'll keep the politics and the uh, viewpoints out of it. It is what it is, but all I want to get across is make your own mind up. Don't be listening to the media and take that as gospel. Take that as their word for it, because when have they ever really told you the truth? And family, friends, and their views, and they're, they're, they're scared. Everyone's scared right now. And not, not everyone, because I can honestly say I'm not. It's more I'm disappointed that I don't have a choice, or I'm getting forced to really speak my mind to get my point across, and my viewpoint of the situation across. That's what's wrong about you shouldn't have to fight for your freedoms like this we've done that and people have done that for us um, and we still pay respect to that to this day so it's uh it's a tough one and it's not fun but hopefully we can all get through it and uh be supportive of one another and in each other's decision because if someone wants to get a vaccine it, it's not going to be like i don't want to ever talk to them it's that's their choice just as it is mine not to so just got to be a bit mindful I guess guys and um, understanding we're not going to get moving here so I'm going to whack you down for a second uh, okay you probably still got me there a bit but uh, yeah I'm just going to drop this MZ off because I don't have enough room on the trailer for the uh, standard to fit on and uh, with that I'm uh, just going to charge up the skag give it another test run over this next two weeks while I'm off make sure it's all sort of good hunky dory uh, because just weird that it went flat the way it did but the accessories have been left on before and it still started on fine so wouldn't take much to uh, drain these little batteries but it's happened before on the um, husky sander as well where the accessories were left on and uh, charged it up never had an issue since so hopefully it's just a freak uh, not an accident but a, just a once off type of thing and we'll be right so leave it at that guys that's probably enough footage for today and like and subscribe and again make your mind up decide what you want to do and, and go for it there's plenty of things we can do in this life and uh, people aren't going to tell us no <laughs> it's not the way it works not when you're uh, an entrepreneur anyway when you're trying to have your own business and get going fair enough you've got to work for someone and you want to keep your job but again you've got the choice you can decide to leave and start your own thing or go work for someone else that doesn't enforce such harsh uh, mandates on you so decide decide all that it's not for me to decide for you all right thanks for uh sticking uh, right to the end of this video <laughs> cheers talk to you soon bye bye have a go at that hair <laughs> sorry guys didn't check that before i put the uh, record button on there nice hat hair Pro tip to finish the video, <laughs> clean the uh, esky out when you know you're going on holidays. You don't want to be leaving uh, fruit or anything like that, perishables, for the two weeks. You pull it out after two weeks and you'll definitely know about it. You want to chuck the esky away and um, that's a nice little pro tip to finish the video and uh, love a lovely little bit of hair for you <laughs> to look at at the end. <laughs> oh, definitely go on board, fellas and ladies if you're watching. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.